hello everyone and uh, welcome to motion hub now if you want to request a tutorial i have a submission form all you have to do is just click on the link in the description so miguel asked how to do something like this so let's get started if you are new here don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit the bell so you don't miss anything now let's go to after effects i will start with new composition and i will choose 1080p I will start with right click here new solid and I will choose black background and uh, make comp size hit ok now I will add the text so we write tickets capital letter I will resize the text I will choose something similar let's say this one maybe so we have uh, three tickets one control D to duplicate it and I will put it here or align it to center I will align this to center also and control D again and now we have three words now let's make this one smaller I will change the anchor point to center with control uh, key pressed just uh, move it to the center and I will hit S scale it down like this and I will put this one here and maybe like that now let's change the color to something like this hit OK let's select this word and I will hide this to text layer I will select this one hit S on the keyboard and let's make a keyframe here and I will move it to one second and then I will make it bigger something like this and then I will activate the uh, motion blur so to enable the motion blur to have this kind of uh, blurry effect and you need to click here to activate the motion blur so now you will get it this way now I will unhide these two layers just drag them here now let's draw a rectangle here like this and let's go to transform skew and uh, let's make it like this if you want to resize the uh, rectangle you can resize it from here and then I will move it here Control D to duplicate it and let's make like four one here maybe one here now select all the rectangles and uh, hit Control D to duplicate them I will move them here and uh, change the color to orange now I will drag them to this position I will start by moving them here go to the beginning hit P in the keyboard and uh, let's move them here I need to move the uh, shape layers under the text and then select all the shape layers and uh, activate the motion blur for them so we will get something like this and uh, select all the keyframes hit F9 to make it easy ease now let's select the orange layer I will hit P in the keyboard to add a keyframe for position I will move them like this and select all the keyframes hit F9 to make it easy ease now I will select all the shape layers and hit T in the keyboard to reveal the opacity and let's change them to 50 maybe we have this uh, tiny move up and down I will select the two layers hit P in the keyboard to reveal the position add the keyframes and then let's move them move this one like this and this 
up. Let's make it faster. Little bit here and this one here. Now select this uh, layer and I will hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. Now hide this one and I will add a stroke with the same color and uh, click on no fill color and you can adjust the stroke from here for pixel let's do the same for the this one ctrl d and then hide this one i will reverse the fill and uh, let's choose four on hide all layers so i will go here hit in the keyboard set a keyframe move it here zero so one frame and uh, just one frame again zero so it will be like this if you want to leave it a little bit of time we need to copy this keyframe ctrl c ctrl v and it will stay sometimes like this i will set this one to 100 now let's select the fill effect this one and uh, hit T in the keyboard select the opacity and uh, hit ctrl v so now we will have something like this you can move the layer to make it uh, different you can select the keyframes and with alt key pressed you can drag them like this and uh, you will get uh, different timing you can do the same thing here with alt key pressed select the keyframes and drag them to the right it will be like this now let's do the end part so it needs to end with the stroke and I will select the fill effect here and I will set it to zero I will select this one also hit T in the keyboard and uh, let's set it to zero and I will delete this keyframe so it will be like this now at this time we need to make this uh, word zoom in hit S in the keyboard to reveal the scale let's add a keyframe here and then let's go to something like this two frames and I will scale it up like this so we need to trim this uh, layers so I will select both layer here and uh, the layers up and with the uh, alt key pressed hit the uh, right square bracket to crop it we need to crop them here so I will adjust the crop the scale is very fast so I will make it slower and I will add more zoom so the blinking effect need to be like one frame to give the same feeling so I need to move them just uh, like this and uh, for this one I will make it one frame and uh, this one like this At this time I will crop this uh, composition so you need to change this one here right click here trim comp to work area now let's start new composition hit ok I will click on the horizontal type tool and I will write social let's change it to fill I hit ctrl D to duplicate it and here I will write sale resize it something like this put it down and uh, reverse the uh, fill effect now I will change this one to white color and uh, maybe like this select both layers and uh, hit P in the keyboard make a keyframe here so we will start by the uh, social one and I will move it I will put it here 
move it to something like three seconds and I will uh, push it right I will select the sail one go to the beginning I will move it here and in the three seconds I will move it to the left try this one hit and in the keyboard to uh, trim the composition and I will trim the comp to work area again I will make new composition now I will add new text use I will align it to center hit S on the keyboard move it to one second and I will make it bigger okay, hit shift P to reveal the position and we will add a keyframe here I will move it here and then I will change it to something where I can hide the text maybe like this and I will zoom again down left little bit up and it will be like this again hit select all the keyframes F9 and then I will activate the um, motion blur and let's see we can make it faster like this here we can crop the layer again you can crop the layer like this and then Ctrl D to duplicate the layer now I will add the second one this one will be the Ctrl D again and code we need to add uh, some space like sometimes to read the word so I will move both layers I will add like this little bit move this layer and add some uh, space hit N in the keyboard trim comp to work area let's move to the next one I will duplicate this composition COM4 I will delete these two layers and uh, let's write motion hub instead we we'll scale it down and uh, hit you to reveal the uh, keyframes go to keyframe and make it uh, or we can align it like this and if you want to have this uh, empty effect you need of course to change the position here and scale it up right up like this we can make it slower the last one is very simple I will make new composition and let's add some text now select all the layers and uh, hit P in the keyboard set a keyframe move them like this and uh, in the beginning drag the layers to the left I will add the motion blur and then like this select all the keyframes and uh, hit F9 if you want to make it faster of course you can change the keyframes like that now let's make another composition let's call it edit or editing and uh, hit ok let's add our comp1 it ends like this I will crop it bring the second one and uh, I need to add the background black background to remove the old one double click on comp2 right click new solid black solid I will put it down again get back to editing it will be like this now let's add the third one again we need to add new solid 
We need to add the background. And then I will add comp4. Put it here. New solid. And let's do the same for the comp5. And I will bring it here. So this is our animation. I hope uh, this will help you. If you have any other question or if you have any tutorial suggestion, please uh, leave it in the comment or use the form in the description. Thank you so much and uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the bell so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much and uh, see you in another After Effects tutorial.